Hello and welcome to day 26 of our Divi 100 marathon. Now the one thing that makes Divi really really shine is the ability to save the settings of your modules for use later on as you design your website. In this video I'll be talking specifically about Selective Sync. I can't wait to show you this so let's get started. So in this example we're going to use post titles. Okay so let's do a quick preview of this page so I can just show you how it looks before we make the changes. So there you go. So we got nothing here on the title. So I'm going to go back and click edit. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to insert columns. And then I'm going to choose post title. If we take a look at this, you can see here we've got these three areas. So we've got general settings. This is where you have your text color, uh, text orientation, mobile settings and so on. Advanced settings. This is where you have your styling and also your customizations. So in Selective Sync, you can actually choose to save either the general settings or the advanced settings or CSS. Okay, so in this example here, I'm going to show the title. I'm not going to show the meta uh, information. And I'm not going to show the featured image. Text orientation is fine. We're going to leave that as centered. And because we have a background color which is dark, we're going to have this text light. I'm going to leave these um, settings as they are. And then I'm going to come here to the advanced design settings. So here I'm going to increase the size to say 44. And pretty much that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to save this to the library. And this is now where we get our options for selective sync. So if you want to include, say, the general settings, you leave that checked. If you want to include the um, uh, design settings, you can keep that checked. So in this example, um, if we say uh, 44 as a reminder, uh, so this is the template name. So 44 is just going to be the reminder that the text is going to be 44 because that's what I need on this example. So I'm going to uncheck uh, where it says include general settings. So if we save this, uh, basically what we're going to see is the text uh, size 44 is going to be centered as, uh, as we adjusted earlier. So I'm going to add and save this to library. Okay, so I'm going to click update and we're going to do a quick view of the page. So here we go. So we've got page one there and it's size 44. So say you want to um, create another page with the title size 44, but we need to change extra information on it like the author name. Okay, so I have page two ready here. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add uh, the module that I saved. It's going to have the size of the text as um, 44. So to do that, I'm going to include, I'm going to insert the module and I'm going to add from library. So we can see it saved here as 44. And just to prove that it saved those settings uh, in the advanced settings, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the module settings, go to the design settings and you can see here it's 44, but it hasn't saved the general settings because we only asked you to save the advanced settings, which is the size 44. So back here on the general settings, this is where now we can show the author. So I'm just going to save this as normal. And before I do that, in fact, I need to make sure this is uh, centered and the text is light. Okay, so I'm going to save and exit update. So now if we uh, do a quick preview of this page, what you'll see is it's going to have the author name. There you go. So this enables you to work really, really fast. So by using that template 44, you can add additional items without going back into it and changing the font size to 40 every time you go in there. And sometimes it may not be just the, uh, the font size 40. It could be other custom settings that you have done there. So it just saves you the time to go in there and just apply, apply those uh, customizations every time you use the page title option. This also works if you're making items global. So let me just uh, show you quickly here. So say, for example, I insert a page title at, from library. So I'm going to use this 44 as well. So if I go into the settings and uh, save and add to library, when it comes to saving items as global, you can see all these settings here for Selective Sync are still available. So you can make this item global and after you've done your customizations, you can choose to include the general settings or the advanced settings. So this is a 
quick way of uh, saving all your modules and making it easier for you to use them as you design your website. So that does it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. As we come down to DV 3.0 release, we'll be producing more videos like these, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.